Okay, so here we got it wired up. Let's see if you can see this here. We can or not. There we go. So we got all the switches wired up. Each one of them is wired up. Got power on lights. This switch turns the whole panel on and off. For now, I can change that to anything I want later. Um, so, and the gauges are working. You can see the current and the amperage there. There you go. And then this is charging my phone. I just had the wire moved up out of the way. And yeah, so we got it preliminary wiredly, uh, excuse me, preliminarily wired up. Um, just got the wires run into the battery on the outside of the fender. I have to actually run them, but they'll go to that eventually anyways. And then here is the back of the panel. The box all wired up. So that's what it turned out looking like. Got a, a fused relay in here. Uh, I used a 20 amp fuse. And then I've got a fuse for the power line going to the relay. And that's got a 30 amp fuse in it. And then uh, you can see how all the switches are wired up there. And then I've got these three wires here coming out. This is obviously ground. And this one here is the power wire. And then this is the signal wire for the relay. And then I have um, a couple more wires to run out. I have to run out this wire for the stereo. Oops, down here. Let's see. Yeah, this one right here. That's for the stereo power out. Uh, this is for the rock lights, power out, and then this is for the whip light, power out. But, uh, yeah, all in all, everything went together pretty good. This one, uh, this gauge here, the volts and the amps, I had to put right angle connectors on these because they would have been too deep um, to put the panel, the back of the panel on uh, if I didn't. So these will all bend down, you know, they'll just bend over. And I can close the panel in on them. This will be, you know, fixed in place there. That's not going to move around. Um, you know, and then I can put the cover on. And I have to put uh, a wire loom on this. And liquid gasket all that up. So water doesn't get in up there, obviously. But, uh, yeah, all in all, everything's coming together quite nice. And uh, I'm super happy with the, with the turnout of it. And with the uh, look of it. I'm very happy with that. This, I believe, is the voltage on the battery of my phone, uh, which is up here. You can see plugged in. Uh, I think that's what that is because that did not change to that until I plugged in my phone. So if I unplug this, that's actually just a voltmeter, regular style voltmeter for the battery. And you can see over here, the amp draw went down to zero and this went to 12.4. So... It didn't really come with any explanation as for what that is. Uh, according to the description when I bought it, it was only a voltmeter for the whole, the current of the batteries, not of this phone. So I don't know what's going on with that, but that's kind of a cool thing, I guess. But yeah, so this is where we're at with this one. Just another little quick little update. And uh, yeah, kind of show you guys. Uh, I can show you here this. So here you can see the whole panel. All these switches light up. Yeah, I'll light all these up just for effect. And so this one here, if I kick this off, it cuts power to the whole panel. Which is kind of convenient if I'm going to go underwater or if I'm having a problem with something or whatever. So um, that's why I did that that way. Because I didn't have anything else to hook it up to at the moment. And I kind of wanted a master power switch. So yeah, that's how I wired that up. And then also... Um, I'll show you on the back of here. So what I did is power comes from the battery to the relay. And then the output on the relay comes to that switch I showed you up front. And then that switch feeds everything else. So that's how that power setup works. And then for the amp meter, I don't know. Some of you guys might know how these work. Some don't. But anyways, what that is is you run all the grounds through this and it measures the load on the ground. So that's how it tells you what you got for power draw there. 
And then the positives, it doesn't matter. You can hook up anyway. This meter doesn't have to be the last thing before the battery or anything like that. So, yeah, pretty straightforward. Not bad. Looks pretty good. I'll be happy when it's all done. <laughs> but needless to say, it's coming along quite nicely. We'll be back with you when she's done.